Uh, He's gonna flip this on on. Make sure it's still on. Oh, uh, we got it back. <laughs> You got that one right, Jonathan. No, I, no, I, I missed that one. Can you talk to me later, though? Well, so we, we're, we're making sure somebody keeps the sunshine on for us. So <laughs> whoever's in charge of that, just oh. <laughs> dial them up. All right, we got it that time for sure, man. So we did a, uh, we have a plum. We're going to hang from here. Okay. Oh, yeah, perfect. We have our, uh, we have a, a Excel sheet that helps us with our calculations. Yep. And, then, and then we have our we have a compass right here that's giving us 310 oh. degrees. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Degrees from true north. Yep. And we've got the sundial style. Oh yeah. Tuner. Yeah. And we're so close to the uh, to the solstice right now, so most of that should be pretty straightforward, right? Yeah. And actually, we're not going to be too far off. I'm gonna get the if you want to get a shot of the yeah, nail yeah, shadow. The What's that? The nail shadow trick hey, that we've sweet, been using. Man. Yeah, the tuning. So as you can see, we're creating a shadow at an angle, uh -huh. and as it focuses, we want the best angle of incidence to get rid oh. of this shadow, which it is, currently it is. is right about there. Whoa. We don't want to burn it though. There was a there was a good thing on uh, I don't know some little YouTube channel about. Uh, can we turn this? Oh, yes. If you're at the, um, if you're directly under the sun, you know, dur during the solstice, there's no shadow, just how uh, strange that looks to be, to be somewhere with no oh. shadows whatsoever. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. just walking around. Yeah, nice. Yeah. It almost makes things... When I run the pump on the solar, too, when the sun goes away and we start to lose it here, the pump, the pump comes down. Yeah. It's like a, it's like Oh, yeah. well, guys, what I, what I like a lot right now is you're, you're off grid. You know, you've got your solar thermal coming in, mm -hmm. and then your solar PV is running your electronics, right? Yep. I mean, you, you could think, like, hey, let's get a thermal gradient going on, but your, your, your um, uh, solar PV is sort of your, your, your primer in mm -hmm. a lot of ways. Yeah. Primed your, uh, and we could yeah. put a little solar tracker to run on solar, too. Uh, My recommendation is to put it in a parabolic tracker so that your heating source is getting a lot more juice. Oh, so, so like. if this guy was in a parabolic dish. <laughs> yeah, sure. all the focus yep. on any of the focus heat that we looked into, parabolic focus heat was kind of the best idea for this application. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. kind of right now you're kind of you're kind of radiating it off sides, but yeah. if you kept it in there, you'd be higher yeah. efficiency. All right, yeah. Yeah. Well, that'll, that'll bear itself out in your ultimate, your overall efficiency numbers. So, mm -hmm. so too, we're trying to do the, the heat wall efficiency for the pipe, too, yeah. and, see, and see what transfer rate. Yeah, and then remind me. So this this guy itself is sort of you know doing um, you know it's a black body, it's absorbing, yeah. and it's a, it's, an it's similar to the same uh, area as this. And you, and you told me a second ago yeah. that you, yeah. you saw about the same uh, solar gain in the uh, mass as you did with the concentrated. Right. So, I mean, yeah. well, that's good. That's, that's a perfect yeah. sort of first order magnitude. At least it was like this wasn't ten times that or, or vice versa. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And we fixed a protractor and a compass for on the lens, so it's similarly off grid for our adjustment. Well, then, and then tell me what tell me what your method is for focusing on the pipe. I mean, how do you know Let's you're on? Like, yeah. yeah, go for it. Go yeah. for it. Yeah. 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 Speak to it. Yeah. <laughs> Game on. Um, and I think Lee's going to grab the uh, thermal camera. I, I'd, I'd like to see what the temp is. Yeah, we're going to do a good tank temp Let's right see now. What the temp is there and what the temp is coming out. And, um, oh, I saw a bubble go through, so you got flow. What, what is your flow rate? Do you know what it is? About a, about a quarter of a gallon a minute on this pump. But, it, a gallon but a it also okay. depends on the solar because it's running on the battery. So when it, if we get cloud cover, it, the, the flow rate goes down. Oh, really? We also lose some heat on there. Yeah, it gets some is, that, is that battery not charged? Uh, it wasn't earlier. Okay. So I think it was more working on just sort of a direct current yeah. from the solar panel. Okay. okay. Uh, which is actually kind of nice because the flow rate goes down, you want, it's okay, you get less movement through there you get more transfer oh i see okay that's complimentary i like that and we're right yeah. at right at noon you guys whoa well and the sun yeah the sun looks like it's a little bit shy of do are you right gonna burn now. through that uh, steel we hope not we've uh, no we didn't we burn had it on there long, it's it's quite it's, a while yesterday there's water in it it's galvanized as long as the water's there staying cool yeah, yeah. we okay. yesterday we noticed a little bit of smoke coming off of it when we hit a fresh spot and we figured it's because it's Galvanized, coating. so it's got that coating on there. Mm -hmm. But as soon as that burns off, 
then you can. Just blows, and you can get a really good look so at it with the welding goggles to see if it's bubbling, if it's like coming through the head flash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's looking pretty good. That's sweet, man. What do you see, Brad? Well, I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get a bead right on that. Uh, Point it's out. hard to reflect light beams on steel. I found it bounces off. You know what? You're right. I had I had a similar. There you go. Yeah. Good eye. Good eye. Happy. Yoink. Oh man, that side flash. Yeah, I that's know. intense. Oh, I mean, that's not even looking at it. It's bugging me. Right there. Yeah, right yep, you got it right there, guys. Todd, will you tighten this? Oh yeah, 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 we got it hot. What were you seeing there, Dr. B? Well, I'm, I'm seeing it's well over 300. It's, nice. it's sort of uh, saturating the instrument. Uh, we have you, can just, you can just feel the radiation off that point, oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. We have an IR. It's like this we can go to 380C. Oh. Then, well, do we want to do this with the duct tape? <laughs> well, I might want to just leave it alone for right yeah. now. I think uh, since we're at the. Uh, yeah. You got a nice thing going right now, it looks yeah. like. Yeah. 